you want cheap coins and a 100% reliable service so you can buy sick teams and open amazing packs then head on over to fifacheap.com use gemx at checkout to get 5% off all your orders what's up guys it's joe here and welcome to a pretty cool squad dollar today so we're going to be looking at some of the best transfers whether that be best bargains just players that have come really good etc etc and they're going to be pretty recent, so we're not looking at old ones. We're going to look at recent ones that maybe players that have recently come really good and stuff like that. So I hope you guys are going to really enjoy this video. Now, I took to Twitter to try and get you guys involved a little bit more. If you, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should do. It's at JMXFIFA. You can find a link in the description down below. Go follow me just for, you know, the, the great banter. <laughs> anyway, so I asked you guys for suggestions as to who you think should be in this team. And, you know, you were very, very helpful. Fellaini, Torres, for Chelsea and Andy Carroll were all suggestions. So yeah, thanks for the help guys. You guys are really, really helpful. Seriously though, you did actually give me some good suggestions. So thanks for that. And it actually gave me an idea that I could do the worst transfer squad builder next. So if you want to see that, make sure you smash a like. And I'm sure you guys will be able to help me out with that. I mean, you already have by just trolling me. So yeah, in a way, you tried to troll me, but really you've helped me out. Didn't think of that one, did you? Now who's laughing? Probably still you, but whatever. So guys, the team. Now, before you call me biased, I know De Gea is in there. He is the first, only Manchester United player currently. There's another Manchester United transfer. You probably know who that's going to be. But yeah, I'm not biased. It's just De Gea had to be in there. He signed for 17 million, I think, from Atletico. And at first he didn't do so well, but recently he has blossomed like a beautiful flower. That was really gay. But still, he's become really good. Last season, he was our player of the year, I believe. And this season, he's been literally unstoppable. Or should I say, very stoppable. You know, stopping the shots. Yeah, that was really bad. Anyway, so yeah, he's been incredible. Definitely a great transfer. And he has come good really well recently. Which was what I was trying to look for in this team. At right back, we have Seamus Coleman. He was signed for like, like pennies. Like, literally, for like free Freddos. And a Twix or something like that. It's like a hundred thousand pounds, and he's probably worth about fifteen to twenty million now. He's one of the best right backs in the Premier League, and that is some sick trading for Everton. He was an absolute bargain deal. And I think David Moyes signed him. So what can you say? Two centre backs we have are Vidic and Company, two absolutely legendary uh, centre backs in the Premier League. Now Company was signed from, I think it was, but that's the one, and he signed for six million. I know City aren't necessarily one for getting great value out of their transfers, but he was actually one of the most bargain deals. Definitely, actually, he was the most best bargain deal City did in the recent times. And he's now a commanding centre-back, probably the best in the Premier League. And City just looked a worse team without him in the team. So, yeah, he is an absolutely incredible deal from them. And then we have Nemanja Vidic. No, I didn't need to go to Aspen because I meant to go back to Vidic, who signed for Spartak Moscow a long time ago. I think it was like 2005, 2006. He went on to win the Champions League and many Premier Leagues with Manchester United before moving on to Inter. But he was an absolute legendary centre-back and I absolutely love him. And he was a great transfer bargain. I think he was around about 5 million, which is just great value, of course. Then we have Dave or Aspilicueta. I prefer just to call him Dave. Couldn't really find many left-backs, so I was sort of short of a choice. But 7 million for Aspilicueta from Marseille, I believe. It was Marseille to Chelsea. He's now their first team starter, a great left-back. Definitely great value and a very good transfer. So not really much to say about him. But we do have quite a lot to say to this man. Nemanja Matic recently actually got sent off. He's actually got a red card in game. I thought that was a nice little touch. Uh, because Ashley Barnes did a terrible tackle with him. And he flipped his shit. Shit hit the fan. He was just like, nah, mate. Not having that. And everyone's like, leave it, yeah, leave it, yeah. He's like, nah, I'm giving it to him. And he just got up and fucking decked him. And screwed him over and he got sent off. Which wasn't very clever because he now misses the cup final. They should have both got sent off, really. The ref had an absolute mare that game. But still, he actually was sold to Benfica. And then David Luiz went the other way. And then Chelsea sold David Luiz for 50 million. Bought him back for like 26 million. So really, they, they would have lost money if they just sold Matic. Because they bought him for way more than he went for. But because David Luiz sold for so much to PSG. And they were like splashing it out on David Luiz for some weird reason. Matic ended up being technically a profit deal, which is sort of complicated. But still, he's one of the best Premier League midfielders. He's definitely the best CDM, in my opinion. One of the best CDMs in the world, actually. And he has been absolutely crucial for Chelsea this season. So I think he's just an incredible signing. Then we have another incredible centre midfield signing, or CDM signing, Alonso. Everyone thought maybe he's going to be past his peak. And Real Madrid let him go on a free to Real Madrid. 
Not Real Madrid. Oh, that doesn't even make sense. How would he go to, on a free from Real Madrid to Real Madrid? Come on, Joel. He went to Bayern Munich, and he played re he's been playing really, really well recently. Absolutely incredible for them. And he's been in good as form as he's ever been, really. And he's just starting for them every game. Who would have thought it? And he's had an upgrade on FIFA, which proves how good he's been playing. Next, we have the main man, Alexi Sanchez. 28 million for Barca in the summer. And he's been banging them in for Arsenal. Probably the best summer signing, in my opinion. He's been amazing for them. So crucial. And yeah, he. I really wish we'd have signed him. Because he is just so, so good. I rate him so highly. And yeah, he's amazing. And then we have a novel winger who I obviously rate very highly. And that is Cristiano Ronaldo. Signed from Sporting Lisbon to Man United for 12 million. And then Man United went and sold him for 80 million. That is some pro training. That's some unique riggers trading right there. And he obviously won the Ballon d'Or for us. He was amazing. And he's even gotten even better. So really for Real Madrid, I'd say it's an amazing signing for them. It was an amazing signing for Man United. The real losers here are probably Sporting because they lost the best player in the world for 12 million although he wasn't the best player to be fair when he left them but still absolutely incredible deal and he had to be in this team now I could have had Gareth Bale in here but I don't and I don't really know why I don't because he was so cheap for Tottenham but I thought everyone uses him and that was a bit obvious even though Ronaldo's pretty obvious but I'm digging myself a hole here so next we have a Liverpool striker and it's not Balotelli or Lambert we have Daniel Sturridge moved from Chelsea to Liverpool I think it was for around about it was actually 12 million guys and since then, he's blossomed just like De Gea into a sick striker in the Premier League. One of the best. He had an amazing season last season, and he's been really good since he came back from injury. Obviously, that was not good for him. That sort of hindered him. But when he has come back, he's been scoring goals already. Then we have another Liverpool striker, or a former Liverpool striker, and that is Luis Suarez. Signed from Ajax for £22 million, at the time Liverpool's most expensive transfer. And then, a couple of hours later, they signed Andy Carroll. Not quite so good business, in my opinion. But, you know, you, I could be wrong. That's just down to opinion, really. And then they went and sold him to Barca for £75 million, And my math says that's £53 million profit. Not bad training yet again. Obviously, last season he scored something like 33 goals in the Premier League, which is crazy, even though he's banned for, like, some of it. So, he was just absolutely amazing. He helped Liverpool almost win the Premier League. Almost. And, yeah. For Barca, he had a bit of a slow start. I think he's starting to pick it up now. That duo, that trio, sorry, of Messi, Neymar and Suarez is incredible. And he had to be in the team. But that was for Ajax to Liverpool. That transfer was the best one. Not necessarily for Barca, because we don't know how good he is going to be yet. Anyways, this is the whole team. I hope you did enjoy the video. Please do smash like. I know, I know I've missed someone. And I, everyone's going to be like in the comments, Oh my god, you missed blah blah blah. I hate you. Hope you die. Stuff like that. I'm sorry if I missed someone. Please do let me know in the comments who I have missed and who should have been in this team. And I, I'll happily take that into consideration. But I can't get everyone in. This isn't necessarily the best transfers. It's just some of the best. So don't get mad at me, guys. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you guys next time. Peace out.